also there. Yeah, she joins us live to continue our team coverage tonight. And Courtney's been talking with people inside the store when this happened. So, Courtney, what did everybody say? I'm sure they were just panicked. Yeah, Trisha and Rob, we spoke with her father who was doing something completely normal. He picked up his boys from camp. They came here to Kroger because they wanted to pick up pasta for dinner. The father says he then heard the shots ring out when he was trying to figure out which pasta to get. He then covered his sons, but says he's grateful he was able to get them out safely. Never think that happened to you, but these things happen. Brian Springer was shopping for pasta at this Kroger in Colerain Wednesday when he heard this. Heard a loud snap. Then we heard the notice on the intercom that there's an active shooter. Then it was a line of fire after that. Brian immediately covered his two sons. My instinct was to get them low, get them out through the back of the store, and that's what I did. The dad says once he and his boys got out, they waited for instructions at a safe distance. Really, I just checked on their well-being. You know, they weren't crying. They're pretty tough boys. They did pretty good. I'm proud of them. I'm sh shaking up a little bit. Holly Jones says her son Markel works at the Kroger and called her from a number she didn't recognize. The number called back right back. So I answered and he said, um, Mom, OK, if you hear anything, somebody was shooting at Kroger's. And I said, where are you at? And he said, I'm, we ran out the back and I'm up at Kane's. What was it like to get a phone call like that from your son? <sighs> Unimaginable, something I don't want to think about. He's an adult, but it's very hard. This is video of her and Markel reuniting. Holly says this situation is something she's worried about before. I told him when he was in school, if something ever happened, I told him to run. I said, run as far as you can and don't worry about calling me until you're safe. First thought I had is, oh boy, I bet there's an active shooter. Billy Truax also works at the Kroger. She says she was running late this morning and pulled up to a crime scene. If things had been just a little bit different, who knows what I might have seen or what would have happened to me. And the father, Brian, that we spoke with says he plans on having a longer talk with his boys about what happened here today at the Kroger. He just wanted to give them a moment to process it. And right now we don't know when this Kroger is going to open back up, if it will open tomorrow for customers. But we will update you as soon as we know. We're live in Coleraine with photojournalist Phil Prinsky, Courtney King, Fox 19 Now. Thanks. Now, Kroger shared a statement with us after the shooting, saying that we are deeply saddened by the incident that occurred at a Coleraine Marketplace Kroger store. It goes on to say that we are cooperating with local law enforcement who have secured the store and the parking lot. The store will remain closed while the police investigation continues. And we have initiated counseling service for all of our associates.